Hello and welcome to the following tutorial in this series. Today I'll be making the following video, which is the actual UCART uh, page. This is the page where you can actually see everything you put into your shopping cart and finalise the order. Okay, to start off by adding a new item, a web form, then you call it a UCART. Add. Then from here, you need to add a group view. Okay. Now, name the group view TV, the group view. Cut. Set the auto rate uh, generate columns to false and set the data key names to item. item. Yeah. Now click the arrow. And from here we'll edit the columns and we'll add one, two, and then a template field and finally another sound field. Okay, in the first one what we're going to name it is movie name. And we'll set it to read only. So that's true. And set sort expression to movie name. Okay. And set the data field to movie name. Next one, and that's going. This one is going to be cross. Okay, and we'll read only value to true, and then sort expression will be movie cost. These are the names in the database. We'll get under the data field. We need to set the data field to movie cost and the data format string to we need these square brackets and zero and go on C. Okay. Now this template field we have to set it up uh, sort of manually. So all we have to do is change the text to quantity. Now this final one is a bound field. Uh, it is going to be just the total price. So. And the data field it's going to be a total price as well. As you did with the last one, when it's the price, you put zero, semicolon, C. So. Okay, and that's it. Uh, now you need to click on Edit column, Edit, uh, sorry, Edit Templates. This will be that template one that you made. And what you have to put in this is basically It's simply a text box and a link button. So let's 
Xbox. And for the ID, it's the quantity, so it's X quantity. And for the one button, you have to move more for this one. It's we can remove. And then you have to change the command name to remove. And then we'll just give it the text. We'll it. There you go. Yeah, yeah that's all for that. So you end that. Okay, now go to the lightning bolt on the group you have it, make sure you have this selected and go to the right lightning bolt. Now you have to go to row command. Just set up uh, the methods at the minute and row data then. Okay. Now yeah, here's the fun bit where we actually have to put in the code. Okay, we'll start off by doing the page load one. So, if is post back, data bind. And this data bind, it's going to be an overwritten one. Uh, we're going to overwrite this, or we'll make our own data by method at least. So, detected void data by. Okay. Now, so GV, GV. Source equals shopping cart DVD dot instance dot items dot items. And then of course, you actually have to data uh, bind it. JV data bind. So all this is really doing is just finding the source of it, which is your object of the shopping cart. Okay. Next one we'll do is the data row bound. So if a dot row dot row type equals equals uh, data control row type dot the footer. Cells. and this is the imagery of the actual cell, so it's three. Remember it um, starts off with one and count over to the left, and got text, 
choose the title. String you have to put. Sorry. So that's uh, calculating the subtitle, obviously. And then up here we'll do the actual row command. So if a dot command name. Shopping DVD dot instance dot remove item this was try and do it. Okay, so that's all the code that we actually need for that. However, we need a button on this page so that if we want to reset or whatever, um, or up, well update it, it does it, because it doesn't do it automatically, this doesn't use JavaScript when you you, uh, you know, click up, the, uh, click change the quantity, so you need to reset it by clicking that button, so BTN update. This does. Um, yeah. Go through. Sorry, what this does is it goes through each row in the row, uh, grid view row, and it actually uh, goes through and finds the quantity and recalculates it all up and then finally it data binds it using the data bind method that we've done yeah. so yeah basically uh, that's how you do the view cart um, this is really the conclusion of the entire shoot you'd have to make a button to go back to the other page but that's really as simple as it is. Um, okay, I think I've taught you enough you know, for you to make a shopping cart on your own. Uh, I hope this has been useful and I hope you've gotten you enjoyed it. Thanks. Bye.